Problems of our constitution saw the need for getting government closer to the grassroots. As local government councils, there is council election fever in Enugu State, and the governor of the governor Ifan Igwai is not taking it lightly. Governor Igwai continues to lead the People's Democratic Party (PDP) to campaign for votes in February 23 local government elections in the states and markets in various communities. Let's share the story with you. Political analysts say modern federalism is a political system that is based upon democratic rules and institutions in which power to govern is shared between the federal and local government areas. With the local government being the third tier, it is expected to be the closest to the grassroots. Some of the local government areas are rather far than nearer to the masses. The people at the grassroots level are the ones that suffer the most as they hardly know what goes on at their council in terms of programs and projects that benefit them. It is on record that the history of local government administration in Nigeria predated 1946 before Nigeria returned to self-governance in 1960. But many decades down the line, there are little or nothing to show for its establishment. Local government administration faced many challenges since inception in Nigeria. Available survey indicate that development gets to the grass too faster when there is functional local government system in, in Nigeria. There are 768 local government areas and six area councils at the Federal Capital Territory. This arrangement was meant to ensure service delivery to the people. Now, in the southeast region of Nigeria, that comprises of Abia, Anambra, Eboni, Enugu, and Imo State, local government elections are rarely conducted. But since the inception of Governor Ifa Yugwani's administration in 2015, he made it a priority to conduct local government elections in the state. Recent survey conducted by independent bodies attribute the relative peace enjoyed in Enugu to the activation of local government system in the state. The report further indicates that consistent conduct of local government election in the state put its unemployment level as the lowest in the country. It is commendable. I tell you the simple truth. For the very first time, like I did mention, people are having that feeling. I must commend uh, the governor of Enugu state you know, for allowing that to happen under him. Because, I mean, if the process was already completed, there won't be a need for his own surviving as the leader of the PDP to find himself in all the other of the campaign platforms. To sustain this, Governor Ifa Yeguain, at a campaign rally in Ishuzo, charged the People Democratic Party LG candidate in the February 23rd local government elections to ensure they relocate fully to the grassroots if elected. Again, the state governor says he is ready to conduct another local government election into 260 words and 17 local government areas. The governor recently flagged off the campaign at Umwaram Central School in Kem Ishuzo with the mandate that all council officials must operate from their different council areas. I must frankly tell you that administration is keen on activating the local economy of our rural communities. Therefore, it has become a directive principle that all elected council chairmen and councillors must reside in their electoral constituencies. Henceforth, by so doing, they will necessarily work to secure their constituencies being resident and also activate their local economies. His campaign train moved to Nkano East and West where he had a stop at Ekeotu and the Kaiban market to converse for votes. <laughs> Former Governor Chimaroke Namani was on ground to receive the governor at their central headquarters of Nkano land with thousands of party faithful in attendance. In a Yeba, even at the crowd in Yeba, the testimony to the irrefragable fact that you did well as the governor of the United States. And you are still doing well because your telling has not ended. And it will not end without history. The history is that you are the man 
who provided peace in any state. And we are here to celebrate somebody that his peaceful establishment of an environment where people can walk and express themselves and emerge has resulted in one of our own being the candidate for the local government election in Nkanu West. He has given us rest. He has given us prosperity. He has given us understanding. He has given us an atmosphere where all of us live together and enjoy together. No political tension. Governor Uguaye has made it a duty to campaign vigorously, even though the PDP has remained a party in charge since the inception of democracy from 1999 in Enugu State. At Udi, Oji River, Aniri, and Ogo, the reception given to the campaign trade shows that the local government administration is truly the way to go. Governor Ifa Uguaye's insistence of conducting LG polls has recently received boosts by stakeholders in the state who attributed the peaceful atmosphere resident witness in the state to the constant running of local government administration in the state. Bame Dele Ajayi, TVC News, Enugun. I wonder why Governor Uguan is going around town for a local government election. <laughs> because yeah. I thought it's any party in charge that, that, that has been the standard. Why is he extending his energy yeah. to go around? Well, he, he, just, he just doesn't want to take chances. Mm. He wants his party to remain strong. You can say that Enugu State is a one-party state. You know, since um, the time of Ebiano as governor, no party has been able to dislodge them. That's um, Senator uh, in, uh, in uh, no, no. no party has been able to dislodge them. But that doesn't mean that you have to uh, be laid back. Um, politics everywhere is local. And if you do not have the grassroots base, then your days are numbered. So he's not prepared uh, to take chances. And you saw too that even for the municipal election in Abuja, that governors, not just one governor, mm. governors joined the APC campaign train. Mm. Yes. Mm. You see governors on the podium, ministers, you know, so yeah, if, and the INEC was also involved, INEC organized no, the no, 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 no. So it means that gradually the local government is regaining its pride of place. A time will come, especially when we can do credible elections at local government level. People <coughs> will take the local government elections seriously because once you lose the local government, for example, your capacity to mobilize for mm. the bigger elections will definitely be eroded. Mm. We've got to give credit to governors who are allowing local government elections to take place and not simply appointing caretakers mm. and mm. solar mm. administrators mm. and all that. So, Governor Gwani stands out among the governors who consistently allow local government elections to take place. Across, uh, uh, I mean, his, his brother in Anambra did not deem fit to organize a local government election. Mm. People complain and complain, but the governor stubbornly refused to let local government elections take place. But here, is someone in Enugu allowing the local government election to take place and even going to campaign in markets and communities as a way of uh, uh, helping the election to gain momentum. So it's, a, it's such a good thing, especially also his admonition that those who win the local government must relocate to their communities and work there. Mm. I know that uh, in many cases, Local government chairman simply stay in the state capital. It is on the on payday that you see uh, some of even their own workers too. They don't yeah. sit down in the local government to work. So, is, is uh, there any threat to the dominance of the People's Democratic Party in this particular state? I I have maybe there are threats, but I think those threats are not pronounced. They are not strong enough to be able to. Uh, 
threatening the dominion of PDP in Enugu State. And you can see what the governor is doing. Local government election is going from one local government to the other, talking to people. No matter what anybody says, this will deepen his stronghold on the, in the grassroots. He's going to uh, strengthen his influence. He's also building the capacity to win the next elections, both the presidential election and also the uh, governorship election, because he's giving the opportunity to local people for him to see him. is a kind of inclusion in the political process. So, and I hope if anybody wants to take over from this kind of uh, government, you have to start from the grassroots. Mm. So I think what he's, good, uh, what he's doing is, is right. And uh, there's no way that he's not going to be ahead of his uh, opponents in that state. Yes. If he continues to stay local government election very serious. No, it's like testing one's popularity. Yeah. So the reception mm. you get will, will show the people that, yes, mm. you are indeed, you are yeah. still on ground. Mm. Uh, Governor Obwani, um wants the world to know that look he's not afraid to interface with his people with mm. the grassroots and he's um, he's been doing that going around uh, to mobilize uh, uh, to galvanize the people for yeah. the election and the reception is good so that would tell the governor that look our party is still strong in this state one of the reasons uh, which is important to uh, go to the grassroots is you get that feedback mm. directly. Mm. You know, you will be able to know what the people want in that particular uh, locality. Like you, you've gone into the market now. If there are issues like uh, bad drains mm. and all that, he gets to see yeah. those things directly by himself. Not that uh, people will come and tell him. So, mm. and he will then know the scale of the problem, the extent of the problem, and look for a way to, to, to make money available to solve the problem. So I, I, I am happy to see people take local government elections Serious. seriously. Mm. Look and see, it's like a carnival setting. Mm. This is the way our elections, our campaigns should be. Mm. Not firing at people, mm. not beating people up, not uh, um, um, stopping people from campaigning. As we saw before the Baeza election, some mm. people went to campaign actually in the uh, river Rhine areas, and they were murdered. They were killed mm. on the eve of the election. Mm. But bad. look at the uh, uh, campaign taking place. There's no threat of any sort, you know, uh, by way of violence and all mm. that. So it's, uh, it's, it's something to be happy about. And we look forward to the election itself uh, being free and fair mm. and devoid of uh, violence of any kind. At the, end, now, at the end of the day, a lot of people, they expect more from mm. this local government because yeah. it's the closest tier of government yeah. to the people. Mm. And then they feel that if this local government, if they are functional, effective, mm. we our expectations from the federal government and the state will be less. Will be, less. be minimal. Yeah. Local governments are is the first uh, point of call for community dwellers. Um, and that is why if we are able to create conducive environment in local communities, we are going to have less population in urban centers. Mm. You know, more people would prefer to live in their communities. Mm. Good roads, access to water, access to security. So why do people need, why should everybody want to come and live in Lagos? So local governments are very, very important. And I think uh, if each government takes local government very serious, mm. it's really going to you know, help in several areas of uh, human development. Mm. And that's why, you know, um, during the Russian uh, 30 celebrations, we are looking at the state as a whole. And I said, there is no state in Nigeria with as many urban centers as Russian state. Mm. Yeah. The closest that I've seen is Kassina. Mm. You know, Russian has a lot of them. And mm. what government needs to do is to improve mm. on infrastructure, even in those urban centers, so that people can, you can actually live in Ede and work in, Osh in uh, Oshobo. Oshobo, you know? You, if if those roads, yes, Elisha and the rest of it, you need to connect them with good roads so that you can decongest the, the state capital, decongest uh, the state capital. Yes, mm. they have, we have more Oshobo. urban Elisha. centers than any, any state Fair. in our country. Mm. Even in Laurogo, mm. you know? Mm. So, this is the thing, Ikiru, Ikiru. Yeah. Mm. So, that's, they need to now build good roads, 
mm. let that interconnectivity yes, happen. Yes, yes, you yes. Know? And look, many people, if they have their way, they will prefer <coughs> to live in Ibadan mm. and work here in Lagos. Yeah. You can imagine if you put that high speed uh, train, the type that uh, my namesake is bringing in for Lagos, mm. if you put it on that road, that's uh, if you if you put it on Lagos Ibadan. Many people will prefer to uh, live in Ibadan rather than work in Lagos. Honestly. Because Lagos is congested and uh, the rat race life in Lagos, many people don't I'm like it. You, I many people don't like it. I have serial coming up calling us from Uma here. I think um Abia people today they're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cyril. Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Good afternoon, sir. Yes. Okay. Um, please, uh, I want to contribute concerning the LG election. Okay. And I know go. In the state. Okay. Thanks. Okay. You know, you asked me whether there is a threat to yes. PDP. Mm. Yeah, actually, there's a threat. But the threat is within the PDP. You okay. know, the advisory election is coming up and the... Uh, the big, uh, the big guys like uh, that of uh, the Kevin Madden mm. is going on. Mm. Okay. And, uh, you know, the, based on the zoning arrangements, is the, the governor is looking for uh, the Enugu East. Okay. What the, the people of Enugu West, where the Kevin Madden comes from, they are seriously eyeing the city. So if you watch during the campaign, mm. The governor moved to Anyeri, which is the local government of the uh, UK for a month. Yes. This election you are saying just for them to mobilize, you know, and when you lose the grassroots, you have lost it all. Yes. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Cyril, for that uh, this uh -huh. illumination. Uh, at least, Jesus said it earlier. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> so so he told us, he's telling us that it's an <laughs> intrapractic thing. Guys, mm. only, but somehow they always find a way to resolve uh, these issues. Mm. Uh, um, it's going to take a massive effort to defeat the PDP in um, in Enugu. It's a one-party state. It's has never been the contention. It's a one-party state. It's just like going to Ayogo. If he goes to the PDP, he, he will return um, back to the PDP. He, well, I may not. I'm, what I wanted to if say is if he goes there, he will not win. If if he goes there, he will not win. So that's the. It, it, it's like that. It's just like Bono State now. Somebody thinking that he can destroy the APC in Bono or um, Yobe. How are you going to do it? Cut it's not us. going to happen. It's only when elections are approaching. That is when we start seeing posters of some of these parties. They call them Abuja politicians. They don't show up. They have no uh, presence mm. in Bono State. But when elections are approaching, you then see them. They will be doing posters. That's where it ends. Mm -hmm. They can't win. Mm -hmm. They can't win because the people there have made up their minds that come rain, come shine, it is the APC that they will vote for. And it's like that too in some states of the South South and some states of the South East. Yes. Nobody will be able to dislodge the the. If you leave the uh, party, the, the you go and come back. You will come back. <laughs> if you don't come back, no, nothing for you. you know? hmm. And finally.